Hello, New Hampshire Democrats. I really wish I could be with you in person, and I know we all wish we could be physically together right now. But we also know in these unprecedented and challenging times how important our work together is. First of all, I just want to start by thanking you all for your hard work in 2016, helping get me elected to the United States Senate by all of 1,017 votes. If you ever wondered whether those phone calls or knocking on those doors made a difference, those 1,017 votes are your answer. Thank you. And then I know how hard you worked in 2018, re-electing Annie Custer to the United States House of Representatives and electing Chris Pappas, helping Democrats take back the House majority at a critical time in our country's history. And you also made it possible for Democrats to take the majority in the State House as well. And what a difference that makes for our state. Now we know how important it is to bring change to our state and to our country in 2020. And that's what we're here today to recommit ourselves to doing. I know you guys are working so hard to reelect Jean Shaheen to what will be an unprecedented third term for a New Hampshire Democrat in the United States Senate. You're also working to reelect Annie and Chris. So again, we can maintain and keep that critical House majority. And I know how hard you're working to help Democrats throughout New Hampshire win up and down the ballot. And as important as anything else is making sure we elect our friend Joe Biden to the presidency. Now more than ever, we know the importance of his experience, his perspective, and his forward-looking agenda. We need to come together and expand middle-class opportunity, make sure our economy works for everybody, and come together with smart, effective policies to tackle our biggest challenges like climate change. That's the work before us. I've seen New Hampshire Democrats make change throughout my time in public life. You guys are second to none, and it's going to be critical over these next few months, even with the challenges we're facing, to organize, to talk to each other, to be creative, and to make sure that we are reaching out throughout our communities and our state to make sure people vote and to make sure that people vote for progress, for change, for reestablishing America's leadership in the world and helping us solve our problems here at home. Thank you so much for everything you do. Take care, be safe and be well, and let's get this done.